Baby, I need your love. Newsflash. The Milky Way galaxy just got a little weirder. Active volcanoes. Enjoy. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. I'm going to do a light, quick grab bag of stuff this morning for you. We're going to start off talking about Comet Lovejoy C2014 Q2. As you can see, that puppy is moving at a steady clip. Got a beautiful bluish green eye on tail. Looks just like every dirty snowball I ever threw. Ain't that the truth? You're probably saying to yourself, that was awesome. I wonder what Thor's gonna show next. Do I ever let you down? Probably. But it's human. We've got an unusual sunset by Helio Vital. Taken on January 17th, 2015. Starts out like a normal sunset. With a lot of red. Red, 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 red alert. Then it kind of flattens out a bit. And at the end, it looks like a giant yellow butt or the top of a heart. I don't know. He says, and I quote, details that the strong refraction next to the horizon flattens the image of the setting sun is no surprise to anyone. But what if it suddenly becomes shaped like a mushroom? Yesterday, I took some photos of the sun setting over the Atlantic Ocean from Suquerma, a small city 100 kilometers east of downtown Rio de Janeiro. The local air temperature was 34 Celsius, but the seawater was only 21 Celsius. Thus, a layer of cooler air formed on the surface of the sea. As sunlight crossed the layer to reach my camera, it underwent a complex series of refractions and reflections that severely distorted the image of the sun, making it acquire very unusual shapes. Canon PowerShot SX60HS was used for all the shots, taking it 213941UT. Still, that looks crazy. But I'm glad we have a technical explanation, I guess. We are at spaceweather.com, the Space Weather Gallery, which I highly recommend. It's always got gorgeous photos by a wide collection of amateur astronomers. Sunset over the lake. And this is one of those cool situations where it looks like you have one sun and then a second sun. You know, but that's just optics. <laughs> this is by Danilo Ronqueto on January 18th. Now we're going to kick over to stereo real quick. And guess what? It looks like our friend the sun has given birth to a solar fetus. Congratulations. You must be a proud mama. So here we are at the 19th, 1451. We're going to step it up one more. Oh, hey, look. At 120-4016. The sun... He shot out. It looks like a baby E.T. Guy's E.T. head. It's like a jelly bean head with his body. Elliot. Hey, there's Earth. And then there's a black thing following behind Earth. How cool. Why would it be black? Yeah, that definitely looks like sun shot out a solar E.T. baby. Maybe he's going to heal us all. Thank God. So on the 20th, we got E.T. baby. And then an hour later, the E.T. baby has already grown. Earth kind of looks like a chicken. And we have a giant... I don't even know what that is. Good to know. And over here, I don't I don't mean to ruin everything for everybody. It seems like as soon as I made the video, it totally... Space Duck of Doom totally went out of focus. He's flapping his wings, I make video, and he's so out of focus. Another thing to uh, watch here, interest. What is that, man? Anybody know? It's down there. Still there. Still there. Man, I saved the best for last. Check this out. Now, if this isn't the awesomest technological camera you've ever seen, I have no idea what planet that is. I have no idea what's going on. So in the last 20 days, we have seven frames. And I can't make heads or tails of that giant, chunky, black and white, gray soup. You? Good times. And the coronal mass ejection solar flare charts saying nothing happened. Though clearly, boom, pa-pow. In the 20th, we get a giant eruption that gives birth to the solar ET baby. He's a plasma baby. He's not really an alien. Look at that. It's so beautiful and majestic. If you notice the EUVIs haven't been updated for four months. Great. Alright, so that's it. That's that. Comet Lovejoy is looking good. Looks like Lovejoy is going to peak out at 3.6. Coming nowhere close to my 2.0 prediction. Sweet. God bless everybody.